rookie interceptor Joe is hot on the heels of the driver. Get him, Joe. Who opts for the spectacular? Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy hurt right now. <laughs> what the f Oh. Himself over a five foot fence without clocking the 10 foot drop the other side. Oh. What's up, YouTube? Average Larry back again with another video. Thank you guys. Welcome back and welcome if you're new here. Now, a couple weeks ago, I posted a uh, video of the UK police chase that's doing pretty well. And in those comments, I had got a couple suggestions. One that particularly stuck out to me, I'll post it right here, suggested to watch videos where the UK police are doing chases, but they're chasing moped criminals and they are now actually allowed to ram them directly with their cars. So I thought this would be great to check out. Let's check it out. Across the UK, motorcycle crime is rampant. What the hell are you doing? With three million pounds worth of two wheelers swiped every month. Damn. Damn. But since cops in London were given new powers, still two up, no helmet, to chase runaway riders without helmets and use tactical contact to end a pursuit, coming towards you now, on your left. Bike theft in the capital has dropped by 50%. And yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good drop. We cut it in half with the new tactics. Now West Yorkshire police are following suit. Yeah. Oh. You can answer some questions, Cocker. <laughs> Cocker! It follows the same principle of pursuing a car. You've got to weigh up who's on it, what you know about them, has it been used in crime. The only thing is the motorcycle is a lot more nimble. You can go places that a car can't go. They're right, different tactics right. for them, and hopefully it's getting out there that the uh, we will pursue motorbikes. It's a Wednesday afternoon, and rookie Joe Waring is getting a crime-busting masterclass from veteran interceptor Nick Good. Joe's a new recruit, uh, so we're just showing him ropes. So we'll be looking at various different traffic offences if we can, all right? Also, we'll be looking, potentially, if there's any motors that have been stolen overnight, it's a good time for things to move. Mm. Yeah, so it may pop up, and then we'll, we'll go for it. All right, right, happy with that? Absolutely. Lovely. Lovely. Middle of the road. Stolen bike, stolen bike. Uh oh. So we got, we got bike one. Mm. Down on Middle of the Road. A motorbike reported stolen has been seen less than a mile away. It appears to be uh, an off road motorbike with uh, an unknown driver on at the moment. Failed to stop for police. One unit already in pursuit. SDS motorbike speed 7-0. Seven 7-0. Zero. Seven zero. See, now I know, since y'all told me, they say that because 70 could sound like 17. See, I'm listening. I, re I be reading the comments. The chopper's all over the runaway riders. We've currently got a chopper in. The lad's putting the bike through its paces, throwing it around on the road, These roads advantage. look so weird. Springfield Crescent, Springfield Crescent. But this guy's no Valentino Rossi. Who is that? I know y'all gonna kill me again in the comments, but who is Valentino Rossi? Must be famous, right? For him to say that. And interceptors are quickly within range. As they hang a sharp left, only the quick thinking of an interceptor oh. averts disaster. But can they avoid Nick and Joe, who are just up ahead? Well, almost got crammed. Oh, goodness. Ooh. After his close shave, Nick's got the bit between his teeth. Yeah, 
<laughs> what? What's he got the bit between his teeth? What does that mean? I got... The phrases are so different. The runaway riders head into a busy residential area, but what they don't know is the police have set a trap. Oh. 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 With the road blocked, they plow through a hedge, and both riders go flying. God damn. Oh my goodness. Hang on, hang on. I jumped it. Well, they're up on their feet. Oh, they're running. Their toes. But Nick and Joe are closing in. We got runners. Get ready to jump out. Yep. Get ready, well, Joe. Keeps tabs on the driver. On your marks. Get set. Ready? Ready. Go, 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 go. Oh, we got that beat a bit stick. The traps. Can he catch his man? Interceptors have been in hot pursuit of a stolen motorbike. When the two suspects have nowhere to go, <laughs> they ditch the bike and scarf. Ready? Ready? Go, 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 go. Rookie interceptor Joe is hot on the heels of the driver. Get him, Joe. Who opts for the spectacular? Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy hurt right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Himself over a five foot fence without clocking the ten foot drop the other side. Oh, over the road, not so evil <laughs> evil isn't such a daredevil. Yeah, yeah, they've got, they've got one. They've got one detainee. Smart. I may jump ten feet. With warning cuffs, it's left to rookie Joe to nick the fence jumper. Nick him, Joe. You gotta jump too. Find him. Oh shit. Come on, what about the bird? Police officers, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Jump over the fence, he's just over there. Be careful though. It's a deep ass drop, Joe. X ray Romeo 17, one detained where I am. One detained where I am. The lad's not moving. Oh, did he land on some bricks? God damn. that can go around the other side. One male sustained injury jumping off a fence. <laughs> Joe said, drop. fuck that. There's quite a high fence. Come around this side, you'll be able to pick him up easy. The suspect still isn't moving. So Joe slides down the fence to check he's okay. Oh. If you injured then, mate, what injuries have you got? Meanwhile, back he on the He broke his ass. Fence, That's what injury he's got. <laughs> We've got Alaclava and uh, ski goggles. West Yorkshire is hardly a winter sports hotspot. <laughs> Veteran traffic cop Nick has been on the force for 17 years. All right, we don't need to know that much about Nick's. Next. And there's also a myth that uh, if they remove their helmets or they take to the pavement, that we won't pursue them. The problem has become so widespread within London that we, uh, we as the police, cannot allow that to happen, and we need to deal with it. A call has gone out for a red mo. So let's just ram them off their bikes. Ped with a driver in a high his <laughs> best. Oh, go 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 go! Oh, we got one. Come on. There he is there. Hold on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Into the park. Into the park. Get round the other side. Get 
stop, 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 Man, I know that shit hurt. Like, oh my god. Oof. Yeah, MP scored me three four. I'm on scene with this job. Uh, I wanna know what he thought that mace was gonna do though. My man had a full face helmet on. What the what the blind on EKC? Cause it's all right. <laughs> the male is detained. No visible injuries at the moment. You give us one minute, I'll update you over. His pride is injured. Keys, okay, so have you got ID on you? No. He looked like he's dressed yours? like a police. Or is it stolen? The actual um, conclusion to the pursuit was brought about by tactical contact. Um, that is one of the many strands of uh, options that we have uh, to us. Fire that. Uh, in this occasion, it was simply justified by the manner of riding on a footpath through a park endangering people's lives uh, we so tactical contact means ramming the fuck out of the car <laughs> i love it can't allow to continue if we hadn't have done this what would you have done further down the road fair question when the police ask you to stop you stop easy as that it is easy so basically the moment the suspects have been arrested for suspicion of five offenses uh first one being failed to stop for police uh suspected theft of a motor vehicle uh, possession of a Class A drug with intense supply, uh, failing a roadside drug test, uh, and dangerous driving. Uh, due to oh, he was out here drug dealing. So I'm happy. Get his uh, ass off the streets. Ended quite well, and uh, we'll further investigate. How is he? Is he going to be okay? I suspect he'll be fine. Yeah, his, his pride is a little injured, but that's all. He'll be fine. That was pretty cool. I think we got. Let's let's watch another one next. It's a normal day driving down the road. Turn left. Siri. Turn left where? Uh oh. I don't see him. I can also go around the other side. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my god. You okay? No worries, it's alright. You didn't do that wrong. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's alright though. It's all right. You got okay. right up and started running, so you gotta be good, right? I have a little second. So we're gonna chase him both. Oh shit. They can be lightning fast oh, snap. or deeply Give me that intimidating. For the Met, the scooter gangs have become a big problem. Damn. But modern policing in a time of dwindling resources. Yo, I would be so pissed if I was just <laughs> drive by, snatch, oh, oh, snatch my phone. I'd be mad. Careful targeting of criminals, and the new anti-scooter operation appears to be working. It's partly the kit: high-powered slimline motorbikes. This new stinger system punctures the tires of scooter criminals. Whoa, now that, that stinger look a little bit different than the one from the last video. Where did it come from? They just pulled that out of a robot's ass or what? Then retracts to allow police cars to pass. Oh, okay. But it's also about this. Boom! Yeah, that's a police car that driving into a scooter rider, deliberately. Boom! They're trained to do it at as low a speed as possible. So far, there have been no serious injuries is a high impact so far. Tactic, and therefore <laughs> our riders and our drivers will be considering the risk to the rider that they're pursuing the risk to the public and the risk to themselves before deciding upon that course of action but in more cases than not it is safer to bring that pursuit to a close and it is to continue to allow that rider driving dangerously through london that's true police constantly assess and if the risk you of... if you will subject you know the rest of the public to danger with your crime you deserve to get flung off your damn moped in my opinion starting continuing 
and ending a pursuit based on all sorts of criteria. Contrary to what some criminals believe, whether or not they're wearing a helmet is not necessarily one of them. Well, Nobody give a fuck about your hair. Um, if they take their crash helmet off, they think we won't pursue. They need to know that we will. Um, it's for their safety. And again, we're a risk assessor. Crime is always changing, and the police believe that this one's been increasing because we're walking around with expensive things like phones, which are very valuable to thieves. But you can add to that the fact that it's an efficient crime to carry out. One scooter can be used for a string of offences. Mm. These tactics wow. aren't entirely Ooh. new, but they are now being used regularly. Like, wait a the minute. Met says they've helped cut scooter crime by 44%. Oh, don't Tom okay. Simons, BBC News, yeah. and New Scotland Yard. <laughs> that that last one, that's that's the worst one, man. That was the worst one. <laughs> oh, this is great though. This is great. Shout out to the uh user that that uh the side <laughs> suggested I watch these. These are fucking hilarious, man. If you out there doing moped crime, just know they gonna ram your ass. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching this, man. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you for everybody that subscribed and just watched my last kind of few videos. I appreciate y'all. We're going to do this again. Leave suggestions in the comments. I do read them. As you can tell by watching this video, I do read them. I know I can't get to them all, but, you know, if it's something interesting, I'll definitely check it out, man. And as always, one love.